Hey guys, hello, welcome to another video of us just showing you some other toys that we love. Yep, so these are pantomime cards. So, uh, miming or pantomiming is a great way to entertain young children and the cards that have almost no letters on them are perfect for preschool age so these cards uh i i love them because i can always carry them around you know they fit perfectly in any bag and that way whenever you are out with your child you actually have a perfect game to play whether it's a play date whether it is uh, if you need some time for the child to actually sit down if you're in a restaurant or somewhere you need them not to roam around all the time it is a perfect way to play so this set of cards has blue cards and yellow cards and the difference is that the blue cards can be described with words that is why there is a note here uh, meaning you can describe what is on the card with words, with making sounds, uh, not necessarily words, but making sounds. In example, this I would describe like boo or wow, 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 and the movement for playing a guitar. While these ones are uh, supposed to be explained only by um, making the movements, the mimes for uh, for the, the things that are on the picture, not, uh, not the actual, not, not any sound actually. So let me just divide them so you can see what the designs are and what there is to be explained on these cards. And um, depends on the age of the child and on how... Uh, uh, how um, often it plays this game uh, you may find it very uh, interesting uh, to observe uh, how uh, they uh, actually invent new and new ways to, um, to um, explain all the, all the images that are on the cards. So this is a local uh, cartoon called Bibi and Bobby and they sell goodies like this in their shops and online but if you google like uh, pantomime or mime cards or uh, just games, mime games to play with children, preschool age, you will get pretty much similar results to, to these and you can order them online anywhere you want so uh, my child obviously has favorites so she doesn't like the witch and uh, doesn't like the ones with the children but loves the one with the animals and the one with the sports too here's Santa Claus a car, a child eating a soup, some of them are actually more complex, so it depends on the age of your child. Uh, if the child says uh, it's a boy on, on the image and you need to guess it's a boy, then that's fine. That is also correct, because there is a boy here. But if it, they try to explain that the boy eats, that is also correct. If they try to explain that the boy eats soup, that one is also correct. So you see, uh, th this is kind of an open-ended toy and uh, the, the boys uh, and the girls that are playing with the cards can actually um, uh, let go of their imagination to create the correct answers for each and every, uh, every image that is around here. So this, uh, these cards come in a convenient uh, box. Uh, the set contains 60 different cards. All of them are illustrated by an artist. 
and uh, all of the images appearing here are actually images that appear in the cartoons so it's very relatable to the children that watch this cartoon um, the silent cards the yellow ones are uh, the ones that uh, are supposed to be explained only with mining, so only with uh, body movements uh, that kind of describe the activities here and uh, the activities or the objects that are a part of this card and um, the vocal cards, the one with the music note here are supposed uh, to be described with various sounds uh, also maybe even words if the child is uh, too young to be able to uh, uh, withhold their words and explain only their sounds but anyways so the recommended age for using this card is between three and six years old uh, but I can tell you it's uh, it goes the, the game goes a lot faster but it's the same amount of fun even for older children so um, the rules if you need to set strict rules uh, is that each player you know you pile uh, the cards up like in a pile and you can use only the the blue cards or only the yellow cards or uh, you can use both of them mixed together, you know, and depends on how much uh, rules can your child remember, which again depends on their age. So if you're playing with like uh, six years old, uh, you would want to mix all of the cards together because once they pick out a card, if it's blue, they know what to do. If it's uh, yellow, they know what to do and um, it, it will be more uh, challenging for them and therefore more interested for, uh, interesting for a longer period. So the, uh, each player takes turn and uh, pulls one card and tries to explain within 30 seconds what is on the card. So the rooster card, they will say kak do in example and uh, make a sound because it is a sound card. Um, if they pull, an example, this card from their pile, uh, this is a silent card, so they need to make uh, a movement and think up of a movement within 30 seconds to describe um, the, the object on the image. So I would, you know, like do this, like digga, 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 without the sound. And this is like a universal keyboard movement, so uh, it will... Uh, the other players that are supposed to guess, they will uh, probably say piano, computer, and eventually guess it. Guess what is on the card. So, uh, for uh, older children above six years, this may not be the most interesting game at all. And uh, that is why uh, you can actually... Um, uh, make another rule to uh, uh, with all uh, with every object uh, on the image uh, uh, ask the, the children to make a sentence with that object and then they need to describe the sentence with mime and uh, the other children that are also older than six are supposed to uh, guess the full sentence so uh, this way you can add uh, complexity um, with uh, to the game and make it more challenging and more fun for them for a longer longer period okay so I hope you liked this uh, video and I hope you liked this game if you did uh, uh, Google for uh, um, mime games, uh, mime cards and uh, similar uh, results will uh, show up and uh, these things are not supposed to be a very expensive toy uh, because uh, you know it's, it's just cards but it is one of the most convenient toys that I have because uh, if we go to uh, a play date or if we go outside and uh, there might be other children 
uh, we can play with, uh, you know, it doesn't take up much space, it doesn't take up, uh, it's not heavy, it's not um, a toy that you will need to carry around if you don't use it, so I just, you know, put this in its box or put a rubber band around it and um, just fit it in my purse so I always have a, a nice toy uh, that my children love when we're outside or visiting uh, guests. Uh, we're, we're guests at a place that has no children, therefore no other toys for them to explore. So we bring our own toys, we bring our own fun, and it is as fun for the adults that play it first time as it is for, for children. Okay, so thanks for the attention and bye-bye. See you in another video.